Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbital with Rocket Shop where today we did a couple of splashdown tests with this 110 scale Spica space capsule model so a very tiny version of that big thing over there and we really just wanted to see how deep below the water the space capsule goes so we could figure out where to put the checkerboard underneath the water for future tests and those future tests will be a little bit more scientific so we'll have a data logger inside cal uh, measuring velocity and g-forces upon splashdown so that we could actually test various different descent angles all the way from vertical to horizontal together with a couple of different uh, bottom end cap designs for the space capsule to figure out which, uh, which combination results in the least amount of G's on the astronaut. So these tests were very crude today, uh, but we still came out with uh, some nice footage that we would like to share with you. But do take all the conclusions from these tests with a big rain of salt. I'm wet. It actually went quite deep. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a little bit more watertight when the astronaut is dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should actually weigh it. Just to see how far from the expected weight we are. But how tall or high up, high up over here? Uh, five meters? Yeah. Four five meters? When I do like this, that's about 150. But that's, that, that's 350, so five meters. But that could indicate that that maybe we do not need at all to, uh, to angle it, which would make more, more of the previous stages easier. Yeah, I mean, if we design it so that it, uh, it can withstand the pressure of going completely under. Yeah. Very interesting and surprising. Yeah. Did you have the, the measuring thing? Uh, only uh, above. Uh, but it's, it's okay, but, but you can see sort of the smash down velocity. Yeah, I, I guess okay. at an angle. Um, yeah, but yeah. approximation. Yeah, we so should we be can able see to do where, where we are if we are one parachute or three parachute landing speed <laughs> or complete failure landing speed or <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> terminal velocity landing speed. <laughs> yeah. Want to try again now that I was we know? About to <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we know what happens. Yeah, <laughs> let's try again. Sure. I, uh, I dropped it at one side, uh, so I didn't drop it perfectly. Mm -hmm. So, unintentional, but maybe that will give some interesting footage as well. I understand why it took him so long. Can you want to see a little trick that I learned? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to say was that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's pretend that there's an astronaut in here. <laughs> <laughs> Vomiting out of his or her. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's stable then. Yeah. <laughs> Any expectations for the cone shaped head? A little deeper. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't expect the first one to go as deep, so this is probably not a good resolution. But uh, yeah, but then we know that. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous to, to make a, an, an early conclusion, but uh, I think I moved my uh, entire perception on mm. what to do just by that first drop. Mm. The same with the wind tunnel test back a few years mm. where it uh, just disappeared out of sight. Mm. Mm. 
So that is all for now. And as always, thank you for watching, supporting and subscribing. If you don't want to miss any of our future updates, make sure to ring that notification bell. And we'll see you next time when we're one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a nonprofit all volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.